Right, this is coordinating adjectives with Miss Roselle. Today we're going to talk about coordinating adjectives, but first I want to make sure um, we remember what adjectives are and we kind of have them in the back of our mind. So we're going to go through these just to bring up a little background knowledge and then we're going to talk about something new. All right, remember that adjectives are a word or a phrase, um, so a group of words. That characteristic that are a characteristic or describe a noun. So basically, adjectives modify or describe nouns. Okay. For example, I have black sheep down here. Sheep would be the noun. Black is describing the sheep. What kind of sheep? A black sheep. So black would be our adjective. Okay. This is very elementary. But as seventh graders, we're gonna learn about coordinate adjectives. Okay, this is a little bit harder. We have to know what an adjective is to be able to know what a coordinate adjective is. That's the beginning. Okay, but coordinate adjectives are two or more adjectives that basically describe a noun. They're interchangeable, which means they can swap places um, and the sentence still makes sense. And we're going to talk more about that in a minute. Um, one thing that's important about coordinate adjectives is, they, is that they are punctuated a certain way. So, if adjectives are coordinate, they have to have a comma to separate them within a sentence. Alright, so how do we know if adjectives are coordinate or not? Well, there's two tests that we can do um, to tell us if adjectives are coordinate. One is by placing the word and between the two adjectives. If you can put and between the two adjectives and the sentence still makes sense, then it is coordinate. But you also want to try the second test, which would be to swap the adjectives in the sentence, so reverse them. If the sentence still makes sense with the adjectives reversed, then yes, you have coordinate adjectives. So here's some practice. We went down the long dirt road. First, find the adjectives. Well, road is our noun, okay? We have long and dirt as our adjectives. So let's try our first test. Let's put the word and between them. We went down the long and dirt road. That sounds a little funny, but we're still gonna try our next test and swap the words or the adjectives. We went down the dirt long road. Still sounds funny. So these are not coordinate and they do not need a comma between the adjectives. Right, let's try another one. The quiet, respectful class listen to the guest speaker. Well, class is our noun. Quiet and respectful are our adjectives. So let's try our first test. The quiet and respectful class. We put and in between the adjectives. Sounds good. Let's try the second test and swap the two adjectives. The respectful, quiet class listen to the guest speaker. Still sounds good. So we must have coordinate adjectives. Since they are coordinate, we would have to go in and add a comma between quiet and respectful. So they have to have a comma if they're coordinate. One more, she was wearing a blue short sleeve long neck sweater. So sweater is our noun, and we have blue short sleeved and long neck as our adjectives. So let's try the word and. She was wearing a blue short sleeve and long neck sweater. Sounds good. So let's try reversing the order of the adjectives. She was wearing a low neck, short sleeve, blue sweater. Still sounds good. So we would need to keep the commas in the sentence because we have coordinate adjectives. All right, now what I want you to do is within your three groups, you have, uh, or within your groups of four people, I'm sorry, you have three sentences. Each sentence, sentence is split up into sentence um, strips. I want each of you, to grab a sentence strip from the sentence, okay? You're gonna stand up. You are going to get an order um, as far as how the sentence should read. And I want you to find the adjectives in the sentences. And I want you to decide if they're coordinate or not. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get in line. The two people that are holding the adjectives, y'all need to try the two tests. Y'all can swap places to see if the sentence makes sense. Y'all can add in the word and and see if it makes sense. If it does, then you know you have coordinate adjectives, all right? Afterwards, I'm going to give you the Chromebooks, and you are going to go to this link right here, okay? 
I created a site kind of to help you study. It's all about adjectives. It includes a YouTube video, a song, um, a game. Okay, you can play Kahoot on here and play against your peers. It's got a quiz. I've added a picture um, that shows many different um, adjectives that you can use. Okay, there's the adjectives. You have the Kahoot. All you have to do is go to these circles. You click on them and you go from there. This is just kind of a fun way to study or to get a little bit more practice with coordinate adjectives before we have our quiz. Alright, go for it.